Welcome to the Insomnia Project. Sit back, relax, lie back, and listen. Know that we are here with you for the next 26 odd minutes of mundane conversation. I'm your host, Marco Timpano. And I'm with him. Amanda that, Barker. That's right. Amanda, how are you doing today? I'm well. Uh, you tasked me this morning with um, with finding something to talk about today. That's right. Oftentimes we debate or we, we try to figure out what our topic of conversation is. And I felt all tapped out today. So you mm-hmm. said, I'll take it. I know that tapped out feeling. We all do. So here was my thought. See what you think about this. We got a great response from the backpack episode, right? We most certainly did. People love hearing about your backpack. And how is that serving you, Amanda? The backpack itself? Yes. Oh, wow. Well, the backpack has gone on some adventures now. It's lightweight, which is something I don't think I really considered prior to buying it. So I'm thankful that the company that made it considered it. So it's it it in and of itself is very lightweight. Because, you know, sometimes a backpack can weigh quite a bit on its own, but this one is not. It's very parachute materially, very lightweight. Um, yeah, it's it's totally served me. In fact, the thing with a backpack, it's like a car. Once you're in it and you get used to it. Sure. It it You forget that you had any other experience prior to that, and that's the one you know. That's the one you drive, you know, that of kind course. of thing. Anyhow. So I thought uh, I actually only brought up the backpack because I was thinking of something that would be similar Okay. for that type of episode. And I know a thing that helps me. And we've talked about it, I think, before in terms of sleep. Sure. And that is to walk through what my ideal house would be in that moment. Okay. And so I thought maybe we could do that, see how far we get. Of course. And walk through and I invite listeners to sort of ponder as we go, what would your ideal choice be in that thing? And and I don't actually know for you, Marco, you and I don't, sometimes we're at odds with design. We so. are, especially with home design. Yeah. I like the exterior of homes. What you like is radically different than what, what, gra- what I gravitate towards. So I don't know how far we'll get, but why don't we sure. just try to find our way through that? On a journey in Amanda's ideal home with stops of Marco's uh, thoughts. Amanda and Mark. Well, we're married. so Are we, though? I, last I checked, which was 2010, so it's been a, it's been a minute, as okay. the kids say. Sure. The kids in Los Where Angeles Where is our mar- marriage certificate? If we needed our no marriage certificate. No idea. None. Are we even married? And I'm not even joking, actually. It's wrapped in a scroll in our, in a tube. In a that, silver tube? In a silver tube that our friends got us as a... As a little present, where do you put your... It's actually a really good wedding gift for a married couple because they always need somewhere to put their marriage certificate, right? I guess, yeah. So here's a silver the qu- tube. The question is, where is that silver no tube? No idea. Fair None. enough. I don't know where so much of my life is. I've never been as organized as I wanted to be. All right. Well, let's find out if this house will have silver tubes where you know where things are. I mean, it wasn't the first thing on my mind, but... What I was going to say is since we are married and if we were to say we were to find the land and and we can talk about that too sure, and and buy the house, make the house, we'd have to agree on it. So let's see if we can actually get through. I'm actually quite curious because I don't actually know. Can I say actually more? I don't know what your ideal things would be. So sure. It sounds like yeah. this will be a test at the end if if we need that too. This is a we'll... journey through a house, but it's also a journey through each other, through our marriage. I guess. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to drink this warm beverage you made me because it's wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So first things first, where would your ideal house be? And And we can take away some of the normal things of like, well, I work here or that kind of thing. Where would it be? Would it uh, be in Toronto? I guess I can't, I can't, I mean, I love New York City. There's certain cities I love. I think I, I can safely say it would be in the city. Okay. Yeah, I think that's safe to say too. So we'll, let's just go with Toronto. Okay. Because we're here and that's probably where it would be. So, okay, here we are. So first things first, we have a ideal house in Toronto. Let's start with the door. Actually, let's start with the outside. 
I like a Tudor house. Mine would be Tudor. Oh, yeah. a Tudor house. I've always liked that Tudor design. Like an English Tudor. Or a German Tudor. What's the it, difference? Um, one's German, one's English. I think the German one is a little bit more um, like the uh, like Hansel and Gretel. Rounded? The Hansel and Gretel type, you know, those like more... Um, S- slopey, triangly roofs, and a, and an English is is just a little more snobby. I don't know. I'm looking it up. Okay, well, I've always liked Tudor, whereas I know Amanda likes a modern design. I do. So like if it a... looks square and jet and it jets out somewhere, mm-hmm. oh, I'd also like to change that. Ideally, in an ideal world, I would push Tudor aside if I could have. A Franklin Lloyd Wright home. A mid-century kind of modernist house. But designed by Franklin Lloyd Lloyd Wright. I want the best of the best. If I could pick. Was it Franklin? Yeah, it's Franklin Lloyd Wright. What did you think it was? Frank Lloyd Wright. Well, I guess his friends called him Frank, but I think his full name is Franklin Lloyd Wright. Is it? I don't know. I believe you. Okay. You don't because you keep asking me. You this, d- just you doubt in about, me. this just in about Tudor. So there's no okay. difference in the style. Great. One's, um, one's in England, one's in Germany. Basically. Basically, the Germans made it, the Englands, the British, the Englands, the British took it. Um, but it it's characterized by half stucco, half um, brick or half wood. Yes. I like basically. the, yeah, I, I do like a Tudor style home, but in this case... Franklin Lloyd Wright will do just fine. So a modernist home. Mid-century home. D- but design one of the ones designed by If I could. Like, it, I mean, this is this is walking through your head before you fall asleep. Yeah, I'll take Franklin's. What, what? You keep saying Franklin like that's what people say. I'm pretty sure it's Frank Lloyd Wright. I'm looking it up now. We haven't even gotten through the door. and we. <laughs> Why do you doubt that his name is Franklin? Because I don't think it is Franklin, but you. But now you're really doubling down on it. A moment ago, you said you believed me. Yeah, so I don't think it's Franklin. It's Frank Lloyd Wright. Well, I'm but gonna... now you're like you keep saying it, Franklin. Yes, I want Franklin. Listen, yeah. maybe it's his cousin, who the family doesn't really talk there about. There is some debate that he might have been baptized Franklin. But these assertions were not supported by any evidence, so says Wikipedia. So on his birth certificate, it says Frank Lloyd, right? So well, I don't know about this Franklin situation. I like to go to pe- buy people's And bapt- you're like, bapt- no, a Franklin Lloyd, right? I, I like, I've I like, never heard that before. <laughs> I like to go by people's baptismal name. Okay. What's your baptismal name? Marco. But isn't there a name day thing that Catholics do? That's something that Europeans do. I guess oh. Christians, certain Christians will also have a day to celebrate the na- your name when it is, when I it coincides. It was I don't think it's. Well, Greeks Greeks do it, and they're Which Orthodox. Is, isn't that Orthodox a type of Catholic? No, it's Christian Orthodox. It's, it's Greek Orthodox. I, okay. This isn't a debate about religion, but ultimately, just to answer your question, that I think it's April 26th is my saint's day, and therefore it's my name day, or in Italian we say onomastico. And what's your onomastico? As I said, I believe it's April 26th. No, but what's the name of your saint? Marco. Oh, Marco. Yeah. Oh, I didn't if know that you go to, saint, If you Marco. go to Venice, it's Piazza San Marco, it's the main square. And is that the same Marco that was like an apostle, or is this different, yes, like an yes, Italian? Yes, It is, St. Mark, version. yes. Okay. Okay. Well, now that we've got that out of the way, I did, don't know why did we, we went settle down. on a Tudor or a modernist? What if you couldn't have a Franklin? I like if you have a Franklin Lloyd Wright, it's like a knockoff. But if, <laughs> if you could have a Frank Lloyd Wright house, would you still want a mid-century modern house or would you want to go back to Tudor land? Well, the reason I like Franklin Lloyd Wright is that his homes, not only are they mid-century modern, but they're they kind of work with the environment they really are they really are in touch with the trees right. and the nature yeah and and with the yeah with the overall aesthetic of the area it is in okay i'm fine pick the tutor if it's easier no i we're fine to have a frank uh, a mid-century modern house a what a franklin <laughs> <laughs> a franklin line I'm always going to say it like that. Great. That's what I want. Franklin Lloyd, right? Okay. So we're getting a mid-century house. I didn't see that coming.
but I'm not, but I'm not unhappy about that. So then what is the door like? What's the color? Is it gray? Is it brown? It's going to be one of those muted tones you find in nature akin okay. to a brownish grayish or it could be a green like a deep forest green okay let's go a with british that. racing green um i well, love a british racing green really yeah i didn't know that not necessarily for a door but if i had a jaguar that's the color i would have are we it, do we have a jaguar with this house i do like a jag do you really i like the look of a jaguar i'm I don't learning know if, so much i don't know if i would want to drive a jaguar i've never once in my life and I spend a lot of time with you. And I've never heard you say that you wanted a Jag. Well, you know me. I don't really – cars don't do much yeah. for me, especially sports cars. You, you've probably never heard me say that I want a sports car. But that – of all the sports cars? No, we've had long discussions about EVs and hybrids and things. No, that's what you want. That was that – would we have oh, a – Oh, listen to how you said that. Would that's we have a mean. junky EV in our driveway and you're – Junky? <laughs> what? What's happening? <laughs> well, what would be parked this in front of your... This is my dream house. We haven't gotten through the front door. What would be parked in front of your dream home? An EV. Junky or nice? I, I mean, uh, uh, nice. What junky EVs are there out there? There's uh, none. They're, oh, they're uh, all new. I thought you meant... Um, I thought you were talking about those house cars you want to live in. Oh, my van dream? Yeah. That's a different dream. Okay. We're not walking through my dream van. Okay. We're supposed to be walking through my dream house, but we can't get through the front door because you're you're dissing my car choice. What's your front door look like? Well, if it's a modernist house. No, no. What's your front door look like? Oh, yours is a modernist house. I thought okay. I was going to agree. Like we were going to agree on what house we're getting. Oh, okay. Okay. So we, we're agreeing. With so modern. we went with modernist. So that kind of determines the look. Okay. Of the house, I think. Great. So, which is not, I didn't see any of this coming. So um, I would think, you know, I love a, I love glass. So maybe an entire glass door. Okay. It's probably not practical though. A frosted glass door. Sure. Yeah, that works for me. Or one of those doors that has like glass on the top kind of thing. Well, you know, the Franklin Lloyd, right? The glass that has like all like little long, thin rectangles, long, thin rectangles. Mm -hmm. and you know what uh, I love? I love a Dutch door. Oh, like a half door? Yeah. The one that you can. It doesn't go at all with our Franklin Lloyd, right? We can have that in the back. Maybe we go back to Tudor land. All right, let's do Tudor. Well, I don't know. A Dutch door in the back? party in the front <laughs> that's the way <laughs> okay um i'm really okay so what do we settle on frank lloyd Wright house sure okay for our first home well maybe we do another one and we'll do the what the tutor looked like i don't think we're going to get to the episode this the end of this episode without no, getting past the hallway when you walk in okay so what does it look like when you walk in what kind of chandelier do you have when you walk into this house um a cool one like one that's kind of Ornate. Are we going with what metals are we going with? Are we going with golds, which are very popular right now? Brasses. Are we going with rose golds? Are we going? I do with like a copper. If you're asking me which metal copper. I like, it. let's go with copper. I like copper. So copper, copper fixtures. So maybe a copper chandelier in the front. I'll buy that if you need a chandelier, which I don't know if you do in a Franklin Lloyd Wright house. Um. So you walk. What the, about Lalique glass? What's that? Nineteen twenties Lalique glass. What is that? Lalique is a company, um, a French company that makes glass and sculpturey things. So picture the oh yeah Tiffany of France, but in the nineteen twenties, right? Which is oh, what's that era? Um, like Art Art Deco. Yeah. And they do some frosted cool glass. Sometimes they'll have a lady kind of with her arms stretched out and like 1920s kind of hairstyle holding a well, lamp in her hand. I think we're going to go with a modernist house. I don't know if a lady with her arms stretched out is the right world for... Well, no, I'm not saying we... I'm just trying to let p allow you to picture what Lalique, Lalique's look is. Okay. So like a Lalique glass chandelier that looks like acorns or something like that hanging, oh, dangling. Okay. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. An acorn what... chandelier. That's interesting to me. Mm -hmm. In rose gold. No, in copper, I think we said. Oh, in copper, yeah. yeah. Which to, in my brain goes to rose gold, but you're right, copper is a bit orangier. Mm -hmm. So in copper. Okay. And then where is the kitchen? Is it the first thing you see? Is it is it on the left? I'm I mean, thinking. I'm going to need your help here because I don't know where I would put the kitchen. 
This is where where I, I defer to you. Where do we put the kitchen? Some, because it's a modernist house, in my mind, the kitchen is on the left. I'm not really sure why other than – but but it could just be an open big space. But I envision the cabinets for the kitchen to be um, – like a paneling so like a like a light wood paneling okay do you know what i mean a modernist maybe no handles maybe just sleek the kind that you push and they open i love that sure okay so we'll do that with a copper faucet yeah I like and a deep sink we don't have a deep sink do you want in our a farmhouse home. sink those are very in right now yeah it doesn't have to be farmhouse everyone but... says farmhouse really all it means is a deep sink no, well, no, but it's an enameled, a white enameled right, sink yeah. is the farmhouse. I would rather just give me the copper deep basin. A copper basin. Yeah. Okay. Copper's not inexpensive. So in this little dream world that we're walking through, I'm happy to spare Noah's expense. Okay, a copper sink. Now, here's my thing. I don't love an island in the kitchen. I love, oh. the co- I love to cook on an island. Mm-hmm. But the idea of people... Gathering around an island, I don't love because I don't love high top chairs. My legs, dan- I'm short. My legs dangle. My feet, it, they're not comfortable to me, and you, I don't. You like need them. good seating. Amanda is a bit of a complainer if she's if she's oh. in seating that's not not appropriate for yourself. I'm short. I need I le- I need to, my feet need to feel firmly planted on the ground. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, so we could have a short island. I mean, do you want not, a short we're not island? tall people, you and I. So I think what we do is this. I like the idea of an island. So it's like an island on one side, but it kind of drops down into a table so that it's a table that people can sit at. But you still get the islands for your, like, prep and all of that. So that they're staring at a island wall. That's what, if you're seated, you're looking mm. at an island wall. Maybe. Okay. I don't. I saw one recently, and it was, and it looked out on the ocean. So, also, I would like this on the ocean. Can we do that in Toronto? Well, okay. we have a lake. We have a great lake. We okay. Could we're going to put this ho- this whole house. I'm moving it to the annex, sort of where we live, and I'm going to put it on the lake. Well, you pick the annex or you pick the lake. You can't have both. Yeah, I, mo- I just moved. Oh, you've moved from the annex to yeah, the lake. Yeah, I hired movers in my brain, and okay. we picked it up, and we moved it, and now we're on the like water, we're on the bluffs, so, looking over the water. So just to get this straight, this is what goes on in your mind as you're falling asleep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Without the debate, I get to pick everything I want, but I thought you and I could come to an agreement I together. See. Okay. I'd like to talk about the powder room because I would like a powder room. Okay, so that'll be on the right. Great. Tell me about our powder room. I want extra funk in the powder room. What does that mean? I want it to look funky. Like I want, I want to kind of go wild in the powder room. That's and so what people do, yeah, yeah, and just have like a th- pick a theme, whether it be a Moroccan theme. You've just entered into like I a, love a Moroccan theme. Well, just picture entering into a very lavish Moroccan tent or Moroccan. Tent. Or like a Moroccan, like you know how the, there's a very uh, distinct Moroccan style with with light fixtures and colors, purples and reds and things like that. I like a Moroccan tile. Great. Um, I like, they call them arabesque tiles. Yes. So I would like, and we have some of those in this house, so I would mm. like Moroccan tiles um, maybe as a backsplash. To, yeah, of course. That's not not a problem at all. Is there copper in this funk? No, pa- funky powder room. No, you can put whatever funk metal you want. Well, I think so. we stick with the copper theme. Okay, it's gonna be a lot of copper, but that's okay. Copper can turn green, so it could be like the Ooh, greeny patina, version, a yeah. patinaed uh, copper. Mm-hmm. Copper. Okay. Thing. So it's just a powder room. What's the sink like in the powder room? Is it another copper sink? I say we go Moroccan. So what does that mean? So to you know you? the basins, those a beautiful mm, basin with a Moroccan style theme. Okay, well, what does that mean? To I you? don't know enough about Moroccan aesthetics, but like, is it a stone bowl? I'm not huge on that, but sure. Oh, I'll, I'll, no, this is your dream house, so it doesn't have to be. I'm not huge on that, but I'll I'll compromise. I'm just happy we have copper everywhere. Okay, so if we have copper, maybe we do something more modernist. Okay. Seeing as we, we bought 
Not Frank, but Franklin Lloyd Wright's his, house. His underappreciated twin cousin. Funny how that works. Um, so maybe it's maybe it's just a white plain sink. No, not in a not in a Moroccan. Well, you keep themed. saying you want it Moroccan. I don't know what that means. And then you say, "Well, I don't know what that means either." I don't know what I have to do some research on that. A glass bowl. Sure. Okay. A Great. Glass bowl. A glass bowl with copper mm-hmm. or a copper bowl. Oh, I know what I want. Okay, great. I want a symbol to be like a drum set symbol to be the bowl. So that every time you flush, you don't actually use a flusher. You just clank on the symbol. No. When I worked in the symbol factory, we had hand hammered symbols and the bell of the symbol, the top part that sticks out, um, we would hand, well, I wouldn't, but people would hand hammer them. And so I would like like a hand hammered sort of really not as flat as your normal symbol, but I would like a symbol. Okay. That works for me. Yeah. Um, one of the places my dad used to work had a fountain made of symbols. As a child, I was um, really enamored with it. Do we have a fountain in front of our home? Made of symbols? No, I don't want that. Okay. But do we have a fountain? Do you want one? Sounds like you want one. I mean, if you're giving me a choice between a fountain and a koi pond, I'm always going to pick koi pond. Well, I didn't give you that choice. I don't know what happened there, but you can have a koi pond in front. I'll have a koi pond in front. Okay. And I'd like a little water feature with metal, with copper. Okay. Okay. So back co- in the house, copper metal koi pond has just been installed in the front. Landscape. We just have to make sure that the copper doesn't affect the fish. So that's the only thing we have to look at. Maybe it, maybe it's good for them, like full of iron and stuff. Well. Okay, maybe not. All I think right. it would have copper, not iron, because your body takes copper as well. Doesn't as, copper as a, have iron in it? No. I don't know. Okay. I it, think copper is copper. Copper iron. is its own and, element. Yeah. I know that from the periodic table, but I think I'm thinking in simple terms, which did have a little bit of tin in them. Anyway. What does our tile or what does our floor look like? Is it a wood floor or is it tile? What would you like? I don't even know. There's something to set up, set about both. Concrete? No, I do. That's I absolutely do not want concrete. I've got enough foot problems. <laughs> I say I, th- I think wood. Wood is wood better. is best for feet. Yeah. So a sprung wood floor. Yeah. As we say in dance. So what kind of wood though? Like light, dark. I like light. Great. Okay, got that. So. But it has to, but it has to match with the cabinets, which are a wood paneled cabinet. And that's I don't have a problem with so that. So maybe either. the wood paneled cabinets are a little darker, and the floor is quite a bit lighter for that contrast. Excellent. I is there a it. backsplash in the kitchen? A tile backsplash, or is it marble? I like I like a copper. I like a black. I like a backsplash of tile. Of tile. I what do. kind of tile? Are we doing arabesque tiles? No, not in the kitchen. Okay. Wow, I didn't know you had such an opinion. So what kind of tiles do you want? I like I like a simple and clean tile. Do you want green? Yes. How about like those sculpted E tiles? Like they're just rectangular tiles, but they have that kind of like wonky like they're not flat. So they have that kind of like sculpted look. As long as it doesn't look mishmash Pish pash. I don't know what that means. Like as long as it looks, it still looks kind of sleek. I don't well, mind. It has to be. It's a modernist house. Okay, then I'm good with that. With updates, I haven't quite figured out the placement of the island, but I do know that I want the breakfast table to look out onto the lake. Onto the water. Okay. Yeah, Lake Ontario, which is like an ocean. Because it's a big lake. That's what people need to know. When you when you think lakes, you don't necessarily. The first thing you don't think is Great Lakes, unless mm-hmm. you live. By the Great Lakes. Right. But it looks like the ocean, but it's not. It's like, anyway. It's fresh water for sure. So we're looking out onto that. Um, so now let's continue on into the dining room, maybe. Perfect. Love um, a dining room. First off, do we need a dining room? No one needs a dining room, but I love a dining room. So we'll have a dining room. A and very formal dining room that never gets used. Welcome to my mother's house house a lot of people's house your mom used it she did use it no she did use it she did entertain so that's always nice okay so a dining room maybe a dining room like we don't have to have a wall there we can open up the wall 
Great. Love it. So there's no wall. It's just a kitchen on the left and sort of a dining area on the right. Can we have a very like um, mid-century buffet in the dining room? Sure. Why not? Love who doesn't it. want a buffet? I mean, if there's anyone who loves a buffet, it's you. Not true. You hate buffets. Well, I just think in today's in age, restaurants. Uh, no, true. No, I like going to. No, I don't like going to buffets. I like going for brunch. I'm talking about the, the furniture, of the buffet. I know. Okay, but I was making a joke. I see. Ha ha. So yes, a beautiful. But it, but, but the furniture at buffet is called that because you put a bunch of food on and people use it as a buffet. You're right. You're right. I didn't. So I actually didn't think of kind that. of what I was saying okay. was. That's funny be, that you want a buffet because you hate a buffet. I like the look of a buffet, but I don't want to eat at a buffet in my own home. In your own home? Or, you when, or, or, or when we go out. Because you don't like food seasoned with other people's breath. 100%. Okay. There's no better way to describe it than what you just described, but thank you. Well, that's that's lifted. That's not my own. That's from Hacks. Oh, is it? Yeah. Which, uh, listeners, if you haven't seen Hacks... And you're wanting to see a great show. Jean Smart is so awesome. I want Jean Smart to have dinner at her place. Okay. She's here. She's and she's sitting at the table. And she's like looking around saying, wow, Not there's a lot of coffee. from the buffet. The buffet works as anything but a buffet. Mm. It's where we put our mail. <laughs> I bet there's a lot of people who put their mails on, on, on mail the on the buffet. Because we, we didn't really put a place for like a hallway place to take off our shoes or any of that. So... I would like a place to sit to take off my shoes when I enter the house. Well, all we have right now is a Lalique uh, chandelier. Lalique. Lalique chandelier. I-Q-E. I-Q-U-E. I a Lalique and Lloyd Wright chandelier. Well, and to be honest with you, that's all of the home we have for today. Is it really? Yeah. That's as far we, as we, we got. We got to the buffet. Um, I'll be honest. I, don't, I, I thought it would be a more seamless transition. I, I thought we were going to walk through your home, but it became... I thought we could agree, and it shows me how hard it is for us to to get on the same page with design. It's true. So It's true. It's about compromise. We do compromise quite a bit. I think there'd be more compromise. I mean, it's not that I don't like this house that we've just built together in our minds. I just... Everything is a is a discussion. Which, what, what part of our house do you like best um, that we've just so far designed? I like that there's big glass windows that look over water. Okay. I'll not, that'll never get old for me. So w would you sit in that before you fall asleep, like just look out your windows? I would. I would have a tea at night. Oh, I like this. What kind of tea? Looking over it. An Earl Grey, of course, with a bit of cream or milk, depending on what I had. Oat milk in the fridge. I would have a nice tea overlooking the water, the lights of the water. I'd watch the boats in the morning. Um... I would... Would you have a warm blanket? Yeah. A bay blanket. Let's go traditional. Okay. A bay. Th I think they're called the three-point bl blanket. They're wool, but they're warm. And uh, But maybe something your mom crocheted as well. Sure. Something soft. Well, this sounds lovely. Yeah. See, we're warming it up. You thought it was a big cold space, but now we have to live in it. Fantastic. Well, thank you for going on this journey with us today here on the Insomnia Project. Before we go, Amanda, do you have any last things you'd like to say? I'm just envisioning the fridge and I want an ice machine. Perfect. Amanda likes ice, if we haven't ever covered that in her drinks. And now because of that, I like ice in my drinks. I've North Americanized you. I guess. Because well, that's an American thing, I think. Ice, ice, ice. More ice, please. Yeah. Let us know what you would have in your home or if there's anything we mentioned in our Franklin Lloyd Wright, Lalique <laughs> <laughs> inspired home that doesn't work for you and of course we will we will mention it on uh next week's show or we'll mention it on our social media thank you for listening we hope you were able to take this tour of our home of our dream and i do mean dream falling off to sleep home until next time we hope you were able to listen and sleep <laughs>